blessed be and may all the grace and glory go to Yahweh and let's let us pray real quick Yahweh it is you that gives us light life and love please fill us all with positive energy let us all have a peaceful day and let the people know that I'm referring to in this video know I'm not doing so to bash I'm doing so with necessary evil in order to correct them just using your forms of trying to use your methods Yahweh and I ask that you be with those people and understand that they are human beings too but they need to work learn from their wicked ways and they need to get those ear, evil spirits out of them shalom good evening everybody how you doing it is about 6 21 damn it's getting late on a monday evening monday monday magic just another manic monday you wish it was sunday nah not me because I got wrestling on tonight, so and I'm wearing my Austin 316 t-shirt. Pretty soon, Monday Night Football, ladies and gentlemen, we're about seven weeks away. Um, exciting stuff there. Um, a little more than seven, actually. Yeah, more like ten. Either way, either way, about 70 days till football, maybe a little less. Um, but this video, and just a reminder, here on my channel, Lovable Lunatic, I'm going to try to bring you a new, fresh video every day. Every day it's going to be a new video. Could be on sports. Could be a life lesson. Could be on your mom's spaghetti. It could be on hip-hop. It could be on this motherfucking tree right here that's serving no purpose. Either way, um, fresh video. So check me out. I'm going to have at least four to five videos a week. That is my goal. Today's topic is on those individuals who always make excuses and constantly complain about life because it ain't getting catered and that they have no one, but they do nothing about it. And some of these people, unfortunately, I used to be somebody like this. These are the worst types of people in life. Unfortunately, they have good, good hearts, but their wicked ways, the poison that they have injected into their veins has gotten to their brain. And it, is, it has infected and spread throughout their whole body. And now they are somebody we don't even know. You know, um, It's sad when it happens, but at the same time, they do nothing about it. Life circumstances happen. You're going to get with a guy who doesn't treat you right. Does that mean all dudes are assholes? No, it means you tend to ignore the dudes that'll fucking give you everything just because he has money or goes to the gym and is a little more hulked up. You'll ignore a chick that wants to give you her whole soul for a chick with half an ass that is half an ass because she's got a nice ass. What, what is that shit, man? Yeah, are looks somewhat important? I'm not going to deny that. What's more important is the way your soul looks up. And you got people all over social media begging, oh, I should just end it all. If that's how you feel, yes, you, yes, you should. Yes, you should. Is that me being evil? No, that's me being honest and saying that if you don't appreciate the life you live, you don't deserve it. If you don't appreciate yourself enough to look in the mirror and say, yo, I'm better than this shit, you know? If I could get to a happy medium and put my priorities first, get my kids back, get my own house, do what I got to do, and then party. You know, I, I don't have anything against what anybody wants to do. But there's a problem when it overpowers your priorities, when it over exceeds your expectations as a parent, as a person in life, and you just let it consume you to the point where that's all you want to do, that's all you think about. You know, I've been there. I've done it. Let me tell you something. That ain't the way. But then you want to get mad because the good people in your life got so pissed off and frustrated that you know that they made more of an effort for your own damn self than you did. And they disappeared. Then you want to say, oh, nobody has my back. But people reach out to you trying to feel bad. Oh, you ignore them. Watch who you feel bad for, people, because some people are just better actors than others. 
trust me, I like to think I'm a good entertainer myself, but I do so with honesty, authenticity, and fucking knowledge, knowledgeable information, all right? But some people are just straight up actors. There's no entertainment in it. They just act it. They just out here trying to win Oscars on social media. And for what? For who? A bunch of motherfuckers they don't even know, but so they can attract somebody that supports their dope habit or their fucking whatever habit. No, I was talking to this brilliant fucking chick about this the other night, right? Brilliant. Really good spirit. Only 20 years old and she is more mature than a lot of chicks my own fucking age, which is quite sad. Okay. But she was saying it herself. You, you deserve the situations you put yourself in. For example, if you are in a rut and you keep digging and digging and digging and make it worse. Who's that on? That's on you. You expect some magic knight in shining armor just to magically appear and pull you from the abyss. No, you got to pull yourself out. And along the way, once you start making strides, people will see that and they will help you. They will help you stay on track. You got to be the one to get yourself on that road. Ain't nobody going to go off their course to make sure you're okay. That's not how it should be. That's not the way. We should be here for our fellow brothers and sisters. But we should also know they are responsible and in charge of their own goddamn being. I apologize for saying the Lord's name in vain, even though Yahweh, should, Yahweh is the Most High and there is of no other God. So... Either way, that's not important. That's the subject at hand. Like, what are you doing with yourself? Oh, I lost this. I lost. And some unfortunate shit happens in life that we can't control. Absolutely. I've been there. But the thing is, you got to do something about it. You can't just play the, oh, life sucks. Oh, blah, blah, blah. I should just end it all card. If that's how you feel, yeah, then maybe you should. Because what's here for you in this life anymore? If your own kids ain't enough to light a fire under your ass. If your own damn self ain't enough. If your job ain't enough. If knowing that you're killing yourself each and every day ain't fucking enough. L living on the streets. Bouncing from place to place. Not having a steady, reliable residence. If that ain't enough. And the fact that you're turning off people who love and adore you. Now I'm getting fired up just thinking about the shit. And maybe you don't deserve to exist on the very planet that gave you, on the very presence that gave you life. You don't deserve that. And maybe the Most High should take that away from you. You will be repented for your sins. The biggest sin of all is blaming others when you only have your damn self to blame and continue to suck yourself into the abyss. But ask you, why does everyone hate me? Why do they have to get me? I'm so fucked over. No, you bend yourself over backwards and let it fucking happen. I'm sorry. I'm not fucking sorry at all. I would like to continue this on Facebook Live, but you get a general jits to where I'm going here. You. 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 Draw and promote the audience that you market in yourself. Think about that for a second. And thank you for joining me. This has been The Lovable Lunatic. Like, share, and subscribe, and pass this on to somebody that needs it right now before it's too fucking late. Thank me later. I don't want any thanks. The thanks will be getting your fucking shit together. Learning from your wicked ways. Shalom, everybody.